I apologize about having to film with the camera here, but what we're going to be doing today is rotating our screen, which in the past for me, if I'm doing a screen capture and I rotate the screen, it ca crashes the record program. Plus, we're going to have to log out of X to uh, get this the changes we're going to make to take effect. So I have to record with a camera like this. Uh, I did this tutorial a while ago using a program called XRander to rotate the screen. But if you were asked, can you do that with dual monitors? And I do normally work with two monitors in twin mode. Um, and the answer is yes. And you should be able to just use the command like I did in the first tutorial, which is XRander dash O left. And the left is saying to take the left side of this monitor here and make that the top. So wherever you're putting in here is going to be the top of the screen. Um, but as you can see, if I hit enter, I get some errors. Uh, and I think it's because um, I'm running NVIDIA and uh, 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 NVIDIA graphics card. Maybe the settings are a little different. Um, I checked the NVIDIA settings because when you install the NVIDIA drivers they come with a little configuration program. There was no option that I saw in there to rotate the screen. So then I'm like, okay, be nice to do it in a script from the command line like this, but maybe the viewer that the question I'm answering for uh, doesn't care if it's in the script. He just wants to be able to rotate the screen. Well, in both Linux, Mint, and Ubuntu, uh, by default, and probably other distributions as well, there's a program called Monitors. So if you just search your applications, or in Linux Mint, go to your control panel, and you'll find an uh, icon that says Monitors, you'll get this nice little GUI application that you can change your resolution, and refresh rate, and right here there's a rotation option. If I click on that, you can see the only thing in the drop-down menu is normal. So how do I rotate the screen? So after that, I did a quick Google search for Linux Rotate Screen NVIDIA um, or something like that. And the first page that came up gave my answer. I'm going to have to edit a config file, which I know can be scary for some newcomers to Linux. But as long as you back up your config file, uh, you can always go back. So if you screw it up, you just copy back over the last file. So let me close out this application here. And the file that we're going to be editing is, um, well first let's back it up, it's, I'm going to do CP to copy, I'm going to do ETC capital X 11 forward slash X org, let me make sure that's still on the camera there, yeah, um, dot config. I'm going to copy that to my home directory. Okay, so that's in my home directory if I ever need it again. Uh, then, I'm just going to do sudo vim, because you need to be root or sudo to edit this file. Uh, since it's a system file. And now a lot of people might be saying, oh, they don't use XORG config anymore. Well, m a lot of operating systems or distributions um, like uh, Linux Mint and Ubuntu, I believe, have gotten rid of using XORG config. They use something else. But if you create an XORG config file, um, it overrides the other settings and it, goes, it defaults back to it. And if you're using the NVIDIA graphics card like I am, it generates this file for you. So if you're running NVIDIA, at least with the proprietary drivers, I'm not sure about the open source drivers, I, I tried them once and didn't have a whole lot of luck, um, the, uh, you should have this file. So we're going to edit it, and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we find this section. You should see the words NVIDIA Corporation in the middle under the vendor name, and we're just going to add in one line. So I'm using Vim as my text editor, but use whatever text editor you like, and I'm going to say option, and then inside quotations, capital R, RAND, capital R, R, rotation, whoops, and then inside quotations over here, we're going to write true. So basically all we're saying is allow, because I guess the default is false, we're not allowed to rotate it with XRANDER, or RANDER, and uh, we're saying it's true now. Only thing is, uh, once we save that, we have to restart uh, XORG. Now, on most distributions, if you control out backspace, it'll refresh, it will log out of XORG and log back in for you. For some reason, they disabled that on Ubuntu, you can re enable it. But if you just go and log out and log back in, which I just did on the other screen, the other monitor, I mean, everything looks good to look at. You know, I still have my sliding, so, you know, I still have my uh, 3D acceleration and comp is running. But now I can open up my terminal. Let's make sure that's in view on the camera. Good. 
bit of one more. And if I do the XRAND, XRANDER O left, you can see it rotated the screen to the left. The top is now over there, bottom's over there, and it's done it on both monitors. Don't know how well you can tell that. You can see Batman's head's pointing that way, and the words are pointing that way. And to get back to normal, we just type the command again, but change from left to normal, and it rotates it back. Now, also with the little change in the XORG config file we created, we can also still use that monitor program. So I'm going to search for monitor here and open up that application again. And now if I click on the rotation, you can see I have left, right, upside down, and normal. So I can choose left, click apply, click apply. Okay, let's try right and click apply. Okay, I promised that it worked <laughs> before I started recording the tutorial. Um, close that. Let's try. Maybe it's because I did it with the, from the command line first. Still works from the command line, which was the original intent of the tutorial anyway. Let's start off on left and go to monitor. Uh, oh, it's weird using the mouse when the screen is sideways. Monitors. Okay, left is up. Down is right. Normal. Uh, it's really awkward working with the screen on its side like this. Okay, apply. Well, I don't know why it's not working in the GUI interface. I promised that it was before. Um, like I said, maybe it's because I did it from command line first. Maybe, well, let's try this. I'll say normal. I'll log out. So I always say it's good when I make mistakes. Oh, and it started on the left. Interesting. Monitor. Just use the keyboard normal. Apply. Maybe the GUI interface, oh, there we go. It just took it a second. Okay, uh, we'll keep this orientation. Let's try going back to left, apply. Oh, it's working now. So keep this configuration, or I should have went back. Let's go back to normal, apply, keep this configuration. So maybe the first time, like I said, it was due to me doing it from the command line first, but it does work from the GUI interface right there. So anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial. Sorry for having to film with a camera. I know it's not the most convenient. It might be a little difficult to read, but I uh, thank you for watching anyway, and I hope that you have a great day.